What's up, working class Americans? Uh, it's uh, another day. I've um, been at work all day. Got to be up at 3 o'clock in the morning. But I feel like this message is important enough that I need to go ahead and say it. Um, I hope it reaches people. I hope people understand the importance of not giving up on our country and not giving up on our flag back there, not giving up on the Constitution. Right now, conservatives are under attack. We know this. We're being censored. Uh, they talk about putting us in re-education camps, things of that nature. They're basically circumventing the Constitution to do whatever they want to. Um, I plan on turning this space back here, and that's one of the things that, you know, um, I've been thinking about a lot. I want to turn it into a place um, to actually work on my nonprofit to actually work on trying to help reach people, trying to help get out there and reach people across this country so that they understand how under attack we are. Um, parlor being shut down, that is a direct attack on the First Amendment, a direct attack on conservatives. You've got everybody from Iran um, and they're chanting death to America, to the CCP, to all these evil dictatorships around the world going after the United States. <clears throat> A lot of them now are saying they're waiting on Joe Biden to be sworn into office to attack us. Why? Because they don't fear Biden. They know what they own Biden. So for all you who think the country's about to get better, think again. If you did your research, you would under, understand several things. Once you start circumventing the Constitution and basically attacking groups of people, um, and not even just attacking groups of people, but trying to limit the rights of people, you are getting dangerously close to being a tyrannical government. The fact that they are selling us out to countries overseas is a huge deal and people do not understand it because they hadn't done their own research. All they've done is listen to the lies that these big tech companies who are censoring Americans and mainstream media tell. Now, they're trying to go forward now to impeach Donald Trump again. Why? A couple reasons. Number one, they want to punish Donald Trump. The fact that someone was able to walk in that was not an establishment candidate and do a better job than they did. They never want to allow that to happen again. They're not gonna run the risk of Trump ever running again because they know without CV, they could have never beat him to begin with. They had to change a lot of election laws to make this work for them. This was years in the making. They planned this and they executed it. I have my own personal opinions. I feel like eventually we will find out there was a lot more to it than uh, we know at the moment. Um, I don't feel like any of it was accidental. Call me a conspiracy theorist, I just don't. I feel like there was a lot of planning that went into this and they were ready for it. Now, the fact of the matter is, is they want to impeach Trump a second time, as I just said. But these hypocritical bastards are gonna elect, number one, they're gonna elect, or, or sorry, their candidate, the person that they installed on us is on tape bragging about using the American people's money to hold another country hostage. So a quid pro quo, quid pro quo, the exact thing that we're impeaching Trump for. Um, all the things they accused Trump's family of never happened, but yet, we have proof the Biden crime family is as real as the Clinton crime family was. The Clinton crime family got away with everything. The fact that Hillary Clinton could bleach bitter computers, destroy devices with uh, hammers and everything else. No Justice Department, nobody ever went after her. Bill Clinton met Loretta, Loretta Lynch on the tarmac. All these things have been swept under the word. There is a dual system of justice in this country. Now, depending on who you are, 
All this is unconstitutional. All of it. This dual system of justice is going to bite us. Um, you cannot operate the country this way and think that 75 million Americans are just going to go away. We're not going anywhere. Um, if anything, we're going to actually start looking at what's going on and we're going to start trying to figure out, okay, if, if, if y'all are going to play dirty every time we have something come up and you're going to cheat, we're going to cheat too. Maybe not cheat, but we're definitely going to figure out a way to even the odds. At this point, if we continue to go the way we're going and we allow this group of slimy politicians to continue to get away with everything they do, we will have no rights. These are hypocrites, full-blown hypocrites. They'll tell you no Christmas, no Thanksgiving, as they're going, you know, down to Mexico for vacation. Um, they'll sit there. The, the latest is the outrage at the Capitol. It's such an outrage. All this happened. It's okay for people to be marching down the street, burning down people's businesses, destroying, shooting, killing, all these things, as long as it's not at their front door. The second it came to their front door, you see the reaction they got. They do not care about American citizens, and that is the problem. They don't care what we think, and they just don't care about us, period. We're a piggy bank to them. We're an endless line of credit. Working class Americans pay for everything. We're an endless line of credit for them. They're hypocrites. They've been exposed for the last four years. That's one thing Trump was great at, exposing these hypocrites. And I, I quite frankly, am glad that these hypocrites have been exposed for what they are. Our freedoms are at risk. And that's, that's something that I just, it, it, I hear people talking and, and somehow or another, they feel like a one party system is a good thing. That's not a good thing. Look at any other country in the world that has a one party system. Not a good thing. The people's rights get watered down if they have any rights at all. The people at the top, they get richer and richer and richer. The people at the bottom get poorer and poorer and poorer. This is where we're headed in our country. If people don't wake up and start honoring that flag and looking at what the Constitution says and actually going by the Constitution, these slimy politicians that we have put in office over and over, these guys have been there 30, 40 years, their mind changes by what's popular. They have no morals. They have no beliefs. They have no convictions. Everything is about power to them. As long as we allow this, it's not going to get no better, folks. It's not going to get no better, especially not for me, you, any other working class American out there. Um, and, and that's, we're getting to a point where we're talking about fundamentally changing the country. When you fundamentally change a country, you're not changing a few laws. You're not doing things like that. You are actually changing what a country stands for. If this country is everything bad that they say it is, then why do millions of people across the world try to come here? Why do they want to come here? Why has the United States been a light on a hill for so many people? And when they get here and they come here the right way, and they build a better life. They are so thankful for their citizenship. And we're so thankful to have them. I've said this before. In my opinion, the way I'd have it, I wish that everybody who don't do shit and don't want to get up and earn a living for themselves, take care of their families and all that, I wish we'd boot them out of the country and bring in people who's ready to be an American, get up, go to work, pay taxes, do the right thing for themselves and the country. We need good people in this country. That's the reason we 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 all came from somewhere. My background's Irish. Uh, my ancestors got off the boat and were sent to war. They got off the boat, literally, signed the papers, and went to war for this country. That's the way it was back then for people coming from Ireland. Um, but all that's forgotten. Uh, I never participated in slavery. My ancestors didn't participate in slavery. They weren't even here at the time. But yet, you know, it, it's like, 
under reparations and things like that, things that these radicals want to do, I would be held just as accountable as somebody who is sitting on generational wealth because they did participate in that, especially these Southern Democrats. That's where you have to know your history. These Southern Democrats participated in all this. They passed down generational wealth, but now they try to play it off and, and, t and destroy our history so that people forget that they actually participated in this stuff. We are heading down a very dangerous place. If they make D.C., Puerto Rico states, if they stack the Supreme Court, if they take one party rule, and that's what they're trying to do, they're going to open up the borders again. Okay, right now we're in the middle of a pandemic, but yet they want to open the borders. We can't even take care of Americans in our own country, but we're going to open up the borders. It makes no sense. That's the way these hypocrites work. It's all about power. That's all it is for them. Power grabs. When you have one party control, we lose. We, the American people, lose. It's always going to be that way, folks. I mean, like I say, I want to take this space. I want to make it into something, you know, that, that I can put to use for the country. Something that I can spread a message. I can, I can talk to people. You know, I, I don't even have all the full ideas worked yet, worked out in my head yet, but I know that I am not going to shut up. I'm not going to go away. I am going to continue to fight every single day as long as this heart beats in my chest. And I'm going to fight for what I believe in. I'm going to fight for my convictions because unlike these spineless politicians we got, these cowards, these hypocrites that are in Washington, I'm not one of those. And there's so many people across the country like me that are not spineless, lying hypocrites. And they will stand up. When the time comes, they will stand up. They will not accept tyranny. They will not accept the Constitution being shredded. And the roosters will come home to roost. Y'all can take it for what it's worth. Folks, I beg you, spread the message. We're not going nowhere. We are the people who make this country go round. We're in the fields, we're driving the trucks, we're uh, moving the freight, we're feeding the rest of the country. Um, places where all these uh, democratic strongholds are, in case you haven't noticed, these people are consumers. They make their money consuming from everyone else. They actually produce nothing. They produce nothing. The rest of the country produces they consume. It's been that way forever. But yet, they want to do away with the Electoral College so that five or six cities can rule the entire country. Everybody will not go for that. I, for one, will not go for that. I, for one, will not give up my amendments, my, my rights, my constitutional rights under the Bill of Rights. I'm not going to do it. And I urge everyone, pray on it, think on it, do your research, and get in the fight. Do not give up our country. If we give up our country, we give up on the world. Y'all have a blessed night.